Hey guys, it's Alice again. Welcome to another video. So I am in a weird setup once again. This has just becoming a bit of a running theme, but I am currently in my office and I don't really have a proper setup yet. So we're going to get there soon. But this video, as you can tell from the title, is kind of walking you through the progress and how we have got to this point. Right now, when I'm filming this, the office is kind of a blank canvas. I've got like the bedding from my bedroom in here to kind of soften the echo in, which is not working at all. Um, and I've got a few bits and bobs that I put in just to film last week's, not last week's, Wednesday's video. Um, but yeah, we're on a blank canvas, so hopefully you guys will like this once it's all finished. But I'm very excited to have an office. It's very exciting. This bed is so comfortable. And yeah, I'm just gonna talk you through what we did, where it was all from how we kind of went about it, what I thought about it and all that jazz because I kind of like watching these videos and yeah, thought I'd do something different. So I hope you enjoy it. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe because next week's video on Friday will be like the office tour reveal. So it should be, fingers crossed, pretty much done on Friday. So look out for that. So yeah, let's go. I've got a list on my phone of like the order of things we did and just I'm gonna overlay some clips. We're gonna have a natter, all right? <laughs> so this room was actually my brother's bedroom and my brother has just moved out with his girlfriend to his own house. So naturally, I snapped up this room while I could and I have turned it into my own. So my mum and me really wanted to make sure that this room had a bed in it. One, because then it can be a spare room as well. And two, because I like having a bed as a background. And as a little added bonus, I like editing sat on a bed I kind of like switch up between desk and bed so I really like the idea of having a bed um but yeah this room originally was like a dark gray color it had not been painted for a couple of years because we knew that my brother was moving out so they just didn't do it so it was a bit gross a bit mucky as you can see from the cutaway the carpets were stained my brother spilt um, Strongbow dark fruits on it and like loads of other things. So yeah, we ripped up the carpets and the underlay and we had kind of a blank canvas. Up in one of the corners, there was like this really ugly looking shelf or at least I thought it was ugly. So we took that down after we did the carpets and my dad filled in all the holes and then sanded it all down. So we kind of had pretty much a blank canvas. The only trouble is that the room was such a dark color we needed to paint it quite a few times. So we ended up actually doing two coats of off-white paint. I will leave the name and the color and everything of the paint down below and all like the information of stuff we've bought and used and whatever. I'm gonna ask my dad for the info and I'm gonna leave it in the description. So if there's anything you want to kind of use, you can do. Um, but yeah, so once we cleared the room, we took the shelves off, filled in the holes, ripped up the carpets, and we actually cut around the wardrobe. So the new carpet has now just been fitted to look like around the wardrobe, if that makes any sense. But yeah, this new carpet is amazing. It's kind of like beigey gray. It's a bit of a mixture. If you watch my weekly vlog, you'll see that it's the same carpet that's in my bedroom. And because my bedroom walls are painted gray, the carpet looks gray. But whereas in here, because these walls are pretty much white, the carpet looks beige so yeah we're gonna end up having that carpet all the way through the house eventually but we're doing it kind of room by room just so we don't mucky up the carpets in the process so we've currently still got the old carpet like up the stairs and stuff i then got to work well we all got to work on painting so we had this huge tub of off-white paint i didn't want something like pure white because i thought it was a bit much but i mean to be honest it looks pure white anyway and i did want something nice and bright something that i can just accessorize with color so i'm super happy we went with this one um and i think it took two coats and a lot of the paint had gone we used quite a lot of the tub i was like in charge of doing all the skirting boards so we gloss painted the skirting boards and the windowsills and then mum was cutting in around the edges, dad painted the ceiling, um, and I was laid on top of the wardrobe in the smallest gap ever painting behind the wardrobe. Um, there was a few occasions when I accidentally painted the wardrobe itself. Luckily it came off with a little bit of elbow grease, but yeah, it was a nice quick turnaround for the painting and we did it in a day. So we did one coat and it was kind of patchy. 
Um, so then we did another coat with like this my dad didn't have a roller he used the roller occasionally but he had like this sponge pad thing so i'll find one of them and link it down below but it worked really well i think it looks super nice it covered the gray amazingly and yeah very happy with how this looked at the end of that yeah so now then we had the carpet i feel like i skipped ahead but the carpet got laid and fitted and it's so soft so squishy and i love it a lot it made the room a whole lot more warm and it's so different to the old carpet as you can probably tell it's obviously brand new and fresh and clean the old carpet had been down for like 15 years and the house before we owned it was home to like two small children so you can just imagine how much wear and tear that carpet got once the carpet was in I keep having to refer to these notes because I keep forgetting. We went to Ikea. We went to Ikea. That was the moment that I was allowed to go to Ikea. I'd been waiting for the carpet fitters to arrive and then we could go and get the furniture. So I was very, very happy. Again, if you watch the weekly vlog, you'll have seen the excitement. I'm very, very happy to be going to Ikea. Um, we had a list of things that we wanted. I'd already kind of made a shopping list on the Ikea website and you can actually check the stock count for the local store near you and then it tells you where they are on the shelves and stuff, like where to look for them in the shop. So when me and my dad went to Ikea, we literally had a four pieces of paper that we'd printed out with a list of all the things we needed and where they were. It made it so much easier. And yeah, so here is us going to Ikea. We've got a lot of crap in the back of the car. We're just waiting for the tip to open. We're here bright and early. It's half past nine. Um, and then we're going to Ikea to get all the stuff. We're in. It's so quiet because it's like one minute after opening time. This is what you call eager shopping. So we picked up a few different things. I'm gonna try and remember. So we got two blackout roller blinds in gray. They came in so many different sizes. They're really, really good, good quality, easy to take up take up, put up and down, um, really like them. I got two shelves with wooden brackets. I got a desk top, like a tabletop, four legs and this bed that I'm sat on. I also got like a little laptop stand, which you'll see in the vlogs. And I think that was it mainly from Ikea. We also were super lucky with the bed because we measured it in store and this gap that the bed is now sat in was literally bang on the same size as the bed. We were quite worried that we'd end up having to take off one of the skirting boards, but it literally fits with like a millimeter on either side. So this bed is never gonna move ever again. Um, it is actually a day bed, so it pulls out into a large, like a, a double size bed. So it actually has two mattresses. So I'm sat on the two now. Then you can pull it out and like put the mattresses next to each other. So that's really, really handy. Again, if we have guests and where I'm gonna put my Alex drawers, um, it lets the bed open fully. So we won't have to rearrange the furniture if anyone does like spontaneously want to stay. The bed will pull out fully um, no matter what, which is good. <laughs> but yeah, building this bed was a mission and a half. I actually have a few clips of us like laughing and just taking the mess out of each other. It was. It was a long and tiring day for us all, but it was so funny and it was like a nice bonding experience. Um, we had all lost our marbles by the end of it, so I'll just show you a few clips now. You know what he did to me? He went, I'm gonna measure that gap to make sure the bed will fit, yeah? So I was stood in the bathroom washing my brushes and he went, oh, it's 245 and I'm like, what? It's 245, that, that'll fit, it's fine. I'm like, it's what? And he was like, 245. He went, oh, you don't understand. So we came back in, measured it, literally put it down. Yeah, look, 245, like, this is 205, you <laughs> And you were reading it off the tape measure, 245. Oh my God. <laughs> nice <laughs> dad. Oh, you have to work I'm going to like put the volume back on for that. <laughs> All you can see is my head popping out of your like left bum cheek. <laughs> But yeah, all in all, the bed was okay to assemble. I think it was the hardest flat pack piece of furniture I've ever built. And I'm pretty good at Ikea furniture. Um, but this one was a little bit more complicated. Obviously, I should have expected that with the design. We actually ended up putting the runners for the drawers on the wrong way. So once we'd finished and put it all together, we realized we'd done like three runners wrong. So we had to take it to bits and flip them over. But that was okay, we managed, we sorted it out um, and the end result is amazing. I think it's so clever. Mr. Ikea or whoever designed this, you did good. Like this is such a cool, lovely, 
well quality, well quality, good quality bed um, and for such a good price. This was like the cheapest one we found and it was the only one that was gonna fit in the gap. So yeah, very happy and it has storage underneath. Two big drawers, which I think is amazing because a lot of day beds you can't do that with. So 10 out of 10 from me. So yeah, once the bed was fit, we kind of did both pieces, slid it together, make sure everything was okay, built the drawers, all that kind of stuff. I don't know how long it took us, maybe like two hours, two and a half. Um, it it seemed to go quite fast. It was all right. It didn't like frustrate us too much. We, did, we got it done. So yeah, that was that. And then I went on to put the legs on my desk. So we actually decided to kind of build your own desk, which is what I really like about Ikea because you can pick any tabletop you like and then pick whichever kind of legs you want. And because of the position of the desk, which you'll see, um, we needed one that was gonna be higher than the radiator, but lower than the windowsills. Originally, we were gonna get a desk that was only 100 centimeters wide, so one meter, but I actually opted for the 120 centimeters one because when I sat down at the desk in Ikea, the smaller one was too small. It wouldn't have fit my chair and my printer and everything underneath it. So yeah, we opted for the bigger one and then I just got four plain white um, adjustable legs. I'm literally looking at them as I'm talking to you. And these obviously are able to change height. So this desk is actually quite high in terms of desks, but I really like having a high desk because it stops me from slooping over. And also when I get my chair back from uni, that chair's adjustable anyway. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with the desk. Definitely glad I got the bigger one and then the little laptop stand is on top of that as well. So make sure you're watching the vlogs to see those bits. We put up the blinds. So we have two windows in this bedroom and there's a blind on each side. I didn't actually film us putting them up because it's literally just a roller blind. I feel like you've all seen that before. They're like a dark gray color, probably the same color as this jumper and it literally just pulls down and pulls up when you want it to. Perfect. Um, I won't have them down a lot, probably only if I'm filming at night time because the street lights will make this room orange. But other than that, really, really good. But yeah, my dad managed to fit them up with pretty much no problems at all. It was fine. And then the last thing we had to do was put up the shelves. So I chose these shelves with kind of wooden bottoms. Again, these shelves are kind of mix and match so you can get different widths and lengths and different hanger bracket things um and so i decided to get wooden brackets like wood colored brackets and then white shelves i thought it just kind of broke it up a little bit because currently this room does look really clinical but once i've got like plants and all my bedding and my throws and everything like that in it should be okay but yeah these brackets were kind of hard to put up my dad struggled i think at this point we were a bit tired a bit done with the day um but we did it and we marked them up on the wall although um, for some reason, my dad somehow managed to nearly electrocute himself. Um, we know there's no wires in the wall that we drilled into, but for some reason his drill just stopped working and it tripped off all the electric, all the plug sockets stopped working, so we had to go downstairs to the fuse box, flick them back up, and then hope to God that we'd not drilled into a wire. We hadn't. I don't really know what happened there, but yeah, that was a bit of a hurdle to jump. But we got there, um, the shelves look really, really good. I really like them. I'm obviously gonna stack them with cute little bits and maybe that can be another background. So yeah, now I really have a blank canvas. So I've literally got a clinical white room and nothing else. So I am gonna go to town. I'm gonna bring all my stuff back from my university bedroom, from my university bedroom and kind of deck it out. I've got my two Alex drawers to come back a full length mirror, loads of bits and bobs. So I'm sure in no time it'll look good. So again, like I said, make sure you watch the office tour video, which will be up hopefully in a week. Fingers crossed I get this all done. Very happy about it. Um, I just need to do the final touches and make it my own. But yeah, feeling very lucky, very happy that my parents are on board with me having an office. Um, also happy my brother's moved out so I can have an office. <laughs> um, and yeah, very happy. So just watch this space. You'll see a much better background next time I film, hopefully. And yeah, make sure you subscribe to the weekly vlogs too because you get little behind the scenes peaks. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope you're looking forward to all the videos that I'm gonna be able to make now I've finished uni. I'm a free woman. I'm doing this all full time. So let me know any video ideas or anything you love to watch love to see, even if I've done it before, even if I haven't, let me know down in the comments and I will be sure to get back to you. But yeah, I am gonna go now and open these windows because it is really warm in this room right now. Why did I choose to wear a hoodie? I don't know.
Right, okay, I'm gonna stop babbling. I'm just so excited to be filming again. All right, I love you guys a lot and I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>